that's still a hard task in the 21st century. I mean, with all this uh, social media, TikTok, and uh, the whole online gaming, how, how difficult is that to get the kids interested in chess? Well, all the things you've said all sound like problems, but actually you turn them into advantages when you say to the teachers or to the politicians, actually what we're doing is the reverse of this. We're increasing children's attention span. We're giving them a traditional activity that will increase concentration. And so while it may be not the simplest thing to convince an individual child, actually that's not the best way to market it. The best way to market it is to, to the schools, to the people who, who control uh, the funds that go into education. And so what it actually does is it gives us a very good story to tell. And actually, when I say a story, I mean something that's actually real and actually true. So while there are all these distractions, uh, we find that using, uh, these, distra using these distractions in our, in our publicity material helps get us more supporters. And of course, then when children actually play chess, as I'm sure you know, uh, of course they love it. So they just, they just carry on. So you just have to get over the initial hurdle. And also when you do chess in school, when you do chess in a school classroom, the children don't think of it as a lesson. So of course it's a lesson, they're learning all kinds of things, but they think of it as like playtime. So they actually really look forward to doing it uh, more, more than say mathematics or science or, or English or something like that. So there's no problem getting the kids involved in that. <laughs>